What's up, everybody? Tony Beats Guy here, and happy Halloween, everybody. That's right, we're going to show off an eight monster battle royale. We're going to call this the Monster Mash here at Halloween Havoc. We have a lot of stuff going on here today. We have Jeepers Creepers, we have Michael Myers, we have Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Pennywise, Pinhead, Leatherface, and of course, a classic, the monster. Frankenstein's monster over there at Halloween Havoc, and we'll find out who's going to be the top dog here in the Monster Mash. I got a favorite here, though. I will tell you, because of Halloween and scariness, Jason Voorhees has always been my favorite. I don't know why, but Jason Voorhees has always been my favorite when it comes to Halloween tradition. A fun story here, which I probably have never told this story, but I figured I'd tell it right now. Uh, when I was younger, I actually dressed up um, as Jason Voorhees, my mom made the costume and everything, blood and all, and I won a costume contest as Jason Voorhees. What a childhood that is, right? To win a costume contest as Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. I don't know why. That's always been my favorite series. It just really has. Freddy Krueger and The Nightmare on Elm Street is really good, too. I really like that. Um, I was never a huge Leatherface guy, but uh, it's good, too. Michael Myers is really good, one and two, if you ever watched... Uh, Halloween 1 and 2, those are good. Then the rest of them, I don't know about that. But 1 and 2, oh, there goes Pennywise over the top. But if you watch Halloween movies, um, the 1 and 2 are really good. So if you've never seen those, you, you might, your best might go and watch those. Another face looking like he's going to get out to Pinhead. Now, that is a weird series in itself is Pinhead. It's very, very, very dark and weird. And crazy Michael Myers trying to eliminate the monster. That's right, Frankenstein's monster. Everybody calls him Frankenstein, but he's really Frankenstein's monster, so there's that for you. A little bit of trivia on our hands there, I guess, if you didn't know. Now you know. But if you had a pick here, let me know in the comment section below if you guys are here. Uh, what is your favorite Halloween slash horror slash icon, I guess, maybe? We can go all the way back to, you know, you got the creature from the Black Lagoon. That's a good one. Dracula, he's a good one too. The Wolfman. Even like the Psycho series with Norman Bates. There's a lot of crazy things going on. But I think the top dog has to be Freddy and Jason, of course. And then, you know, the Freddy and Jason movie. I still enjoy that Freddy and Jason movie. I don't know if a lot of people enjoy that movie, but I still thought it was good for what it was. It was it, it was good, you know, I can't complain. And Freddy Krueger and Leatherface, there's a... Here's one that I want to see. Another one that I did not include here was uh, Chucky, which I really like the Chucky series as well. And then Leprechaun. Leprechaun was all right. I was never scared with Leprechaun, but it was there. And I think there was like, there's a lot of ones. There's a really funny one, Troll 2. You ever seen that movie? Check that one out. Oh, there goes Freddy Krueger. Leatherface eliminated Freddy Krueger. Jeepers Creepers up top by Michael Myers. And what is going to happen is Michael Myers going to eliminate... Oh, and there goes Pinhead, but Pinhead stays in by the monster. And there it is. Jeeper Creeper. I watched the first one. That one was all right. He wanted their eyeballs, which is a strange way to be a horror person. But honestly, I, I just I just really enjoy Halloween. I think it's one of the best times of the year. Because then Halloween leads into Thanksgiving, which leads into... Uh-oh. Leatherface is going to choke him. He's going to choke Sam up to the outside. Oh, no. Jason Voorhees, goodbye. I wanted you to win, but a choke Sam to the outside. That sends you all the way to the bottom. Leatherface looks like the favorite here. Um, but Halloween's probably my one of my favorites. I don't go trick-or-treating too much. Actually, this year, I actually have to hand out candy. First time I'm in the house, got to hand out candy. What a crazy, what a crazy thing. I never thought I would have to do that. But I'm going to stay home, and I'm probably going to hand out... Ho uh, candy and watch some scary stuff. I've been watching Stranger Things. Anybody's into that. Season two's out. Still gotta continue to watch it. I try to binge watch it. I do and I don't. I want to, but then again, I don't because then when you get done, it's over and you gotta wait, 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 wait. That's what I did with the first one. I binge watched so much of it and then it was all over. And here's Leatherface going to eliminate. I might have to put on Friday the 13th, even though those are ones that I watch all the time. I like Friday the 13th series. I like the Friday the 13th video game too. Very good video game. If you guys haven't played the Friday the 13th, uh, one of the PC consoles, that's a really good one. The current Friday the 13th game. I might have to play that one tomorrow just to just to kind of play it and have a good time playing it. I might have to do a vid on it just because and check that out. But honestly, Halloween, one of my favorite times. Let me know if you guys really like Halloween or you don't. I might have to watch Halloween 1 and 2 tomorrow. That might be a good thing to do. Let's do that. 
Because if you watch one and two back to back, it's really like a continuation of the story. Like they did a great job. If you watch those as one, you can watch that as one giant movie and it still feels like, I don't know, it still flows very well for me and it's still getting that mood. So I might have to do it. Michael Myers, speaking of him, eliminates Pinhead there. I like that. With the William Shatner mask. Who would have thought? With the William Shatner mask. Uh oh, he has him up top. Does the monster. Frankenstein's monster. Oh, and Michael Myers looking to eliminate. Jeepers Creepers. I didn't really remember Jeepers Creepers in the movie too much. I don't even remember how it worked. And what the was the monster's name Jeepers Creepers? Was that the name? I don't even know at this current point. I'm just rambling here. Oh! The monster's got Leatherface up! And down Frankenstein's monster. And Michael Myers fighting back here on this Halloween Battle Royale. Frankenstein's monster, Jeepers Creepers, and Michael Myers. Oh, throwing him over. But he's hanging on, skinning the cat. Oh, but he dumps him to the outside. It's now down to Michael Myers and Frankenstein's monster. Who is going to be the winner here at Halloween Havoc in the Monster Mash Battle Royale here? Oh, and you see Leatherface going to the back, getting hurt there. Always love a good gimmick battle royale. You can't go wrong with a gimmick battle royale here on Halloween. Really doesn't get any better than this, I could say. Up and down he goes. Michael Myers. Frankenstein's monster. Who is going to be the victor here tonight at Halloween Havoc? It could go either way. Who knows how this is all going to play out here. Picking him up. Oh, just a punch to the head goes that. There it is. Again and again and again and again! A sick, sadistic monster. Coming to the end. I can feel it. Oh, but he's fighting back with a headbutt is Michael Myers. I think Frankenstein would be a little bit bigger. Or Frankenstein's monster, I should say, would be a little bit bigger than Michael Myers. But who am I to say, right? Who am I to say in this monster mash? The mashup of the best of the best here. Michael Myers, the Halloween icon, looking to dump Frankenstein's monster over. Could he win it for Halloween? Could he do it? It's about to happen. No, Frankenstein's monster fights back. Oh, and Michael Myers is not giving an inch here. He does not want to lose this. This is to prove who is the greatest monster of all time. I know I should have included some more people here. I probably should have, but you know what? That's the name of the game here. Up and down. He's got him on the shoulder and slams him to the mat. And a straight punch or a slap or something. I thought he was going to hit him with a right hand to the face, but that was not the case there. Oh, and there's a big Lariato. Sending down Frankenstein's monster. Up and no. Reversal by the monster. Oh, he's got him up. And down he goes. I thought he was going to press slam him out of the ring. That would have been some showing there. Uh-oh. Looking to drag him over to the side. Could Frankenstein's monster get the win here? He's got him up. Presses him up, Michael Myers. Is out and Frankenstein's monster is your winner here at Halloween Havoc. What old school victory for him. Who would have thought that that would have been the outcome here at Halloween Havoc. And the monster mash. He did the mash. It was a graveyard smash. All right. And there it is. The monster is your winner. Ooh, spooky, 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 scary skeletons. Run shivers down your spine. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave today's video. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below. Who is your favorite Halloween horror villain, icon, creature, whatever it may be? There's a lot of them. Mine, like I said, it's got to be Jason Voorhees.
Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Hit that like button. If you enjoy this, as always, happy Halloween. We'll see you later.